1887, the Corporation of Birmingham commissioned Edward Byrne Jones to paint a picture for this museum, for Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. It was a major commission. The Corporation paid Byrne Jones £2,000, which is the equivalent of over £120,000 today. And Byrne Jones responded with a work on the grandest possible scale. This is the work that he painted, the Star of Bethlehem. Its design was based on a tapestry that Byrne Jones had designed for his old college in Oxford, for Exeter College, where he and his friend, the designer William Morris, had met and studied together in the 1850s. And the subject is from the Bible. It's the visit of the three kings to the stable at Bethlehem to see the baby Jesus, who you can see on the left-hand side of the composition there in the lap of his mother Mary. Byrne Jones had been born in Birmingham in 1833, and by the late 1880s, when he received this commission, he was an artist with a national and an international reputation. He was also beginning to rebuild his relationship with Birmingham. He'd had some important commissions for stained glass, for St Martin's in the Bullring, and for St Philip's Church, now St Philip's Cathedral. And he'd also take a real, taken a real interest in the development of the artistic culture in the town here in Birmingham. In 1885, this museum had opened, and also the School of Art around the corner on Margaret Street. And Byrne Jones had been very supportive of both. He thought it was very important for Birmingham as a town to have both a place where young artists could learn uh, the skills that they would need as artists and designers, but also a museum where they could come to be inspired by the art of the past and the art of the present. So he seems to have been um, very pleased to be invited to be involved in the museum and to actually produce a work for its permanent collection. This work that he produced is a real technical tour de force. It's a watercolour. It is on a really enormous scale. It's about 13 feet across. It's very, very unusual for an artist to work in this sort of scale in watercolour. It's a very technically demanding and unforgiving medium. And as far as we know, this is actually the largest watercolour in the world. Uh, we'd be very interested to know if anybody knows of any that are larger than this. It's painted on 10 sheets of watercolour paper. Each sheet is the largest size that you could actually buy in 1887. And the 10 sheets are joined together and then laid upon a stretched canvas. In the photograph that we display alongside the watercolour, you can see Byrne Jones at work on the Star of Bethlehem in his studio in Fulham. You can see him on his ladder there. And he did quip that he travelled as many miles as the Three Kings when he was painting this watercolour up and down his ladder over a period of about three years painting this work. Bone Jones completed the Star of Bethlehem in 1891 and it was exhibited in London before then being brought up to Birmingham uh, to be shown here at the museum for the first time. It formed the centrepiece of a large retrospective of pre-Raphaelite painting, the, the largest exhibition of pre-Raphaelite work held to date. And that work, that exhibition was opened with great fanfare in 1891. The opening was attended by the two surviving members of the Pre-Raphaelite Brotherhood, uh, F.G. Stevens and William Holman Hunt, and the address at the exhibition opening was given by Burne Jones's friend, William Morris. That work, The Star of Bethlehem, dominated the exhibition, and it still dominates our Pre-Raphaelite collections here today. It's a work that really is, is the focal point and, and the centrepiece of our pre-Raphaelite galleries, partly because of its, its sheer scale, but also because it has something important to say about the relationship between this town, Birmingham, and its most famous artistic son.